Do you love yourself? Has anyone ever asked you that question? Do you love yourself? You might say that you love your family members, you love your friends. Cool. Do you love yourself? You might say, well, I love making money. All right, cool. I love my job. All right, cool. But do you love yourself? Like, do you love you? The person that you see in the mirror, every time you look in the mirror or every time you flip your camera on your phone, do you love that person? If you do, if you really love that person, you would do everything in your power to make sure that that person that you say you love is at his or her best. Because if you truly love someone, you will not do anything to hurt that person. Now, how many times a day do you hurt yourself? And I don't mean necessarily physically hurt yourself. I mean emotionally hurt yourself, spiritually hurt yourself, mentally hurt yourself. Think about all the time you spend doubting yourself. Think about all the time you spend cursing your own name. Think about all the time you spend telling yourself that you're ugly, you're not good enough, you're not worthy, you're not capable. Would you tell that to someone you love? Think about it. You might say, I love my mother. All right, cool. You love your mother. That's great. Would you tell your mother the things you tell yourself? You wouldn't tell your mother that she's not good enough, but you love her. So why do you tell yourself you're not good enough? It's because you don't love you. I don't care how much money you have. You can be a millionaire. That doesn't mean you love yourself. Because if you love yourself, you'll do everything in your power to take care of yourself. Look at me. I've never loved myself. And guess where it's gotten? Absolutely nowhere. Like I always say. I didn't love myself. That's why I always eat bad food. Poisonous food. Fast food. Drinking all this soda. Drinking, you know, drinking all these... You know, the high sugar drinks and all that. Because I don't love myself. Spend all day on my cell phone. On social media. Distracting myself. Because I don't love myself. Because I haven't loved myself. I'm learning to love myself now. And it's a process. Because love is a verb. It's an action word. It's not, just, it's not enough just to say you love someone. It's the actions that prove if you love someone. And if you love yourself... And that means every action you take must be in alignment with self-improvement, self-care, anything, self-education, educating yourself. Now, this doesn't mean that when you love yourself, you're perfect. No. If anything, you love yourself even more when you find out that you will never be perfect. Why? Because once you realize that you will never be perfect and it's never going to happen, you can even love the flaws about you. That means everything that's a flaw, you can actually take that flaw or that disadvantage and turn it to an advantage. You can use whatever is hindering you. You know, you could be a full metal alchemist. <laughs> you can take whatever is hindering you and use it for something greater. You might be someone who has negative thoughts. You have a lot of negative thoughts. And let's say one day you learn to actually overcome those negative thoughts. It doesn't mean the negative thoughts stop, but you just learn to deal with them. You learn to cope. You're not, you know, you're not being defeated by those negative thoughts. You know what you can do? You can take all the knowledge you learn and teach someone else. Not only are you helping this person, but you're also helping yourself. Because you're giving back to someone else. You may not be giving them money, but you're giving them true wealth. And it all started with you loving yourself. If you really loved yourself, you would take care of yourself. If you really loved yourself, you would not eat the foods that you eat. And trust me, like I said, I'm not here to judge. <laughs> I eat bad food all the time. I need to get better at that. That's because I haven't loved myself. 29 years of my life and I've never loved myself we spend time trying to find someone to love us in a relationship 
We don't even love ourselves. How can we be so selfish to go out here and try to find someone to love? We don't even love ourselves. You want to take care of someone, you don't even take care of you. You speak to your bosses at work with so much respect. Yes, sir. No, sir. And you, you know, all that. Yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. But then go in the mirror in the restroom and talk to yourself in the most negative, volatile, hostile way. Because you don't love yourself. I don't care how much money you have. I don't care how much success you have. I don't care how little success you have. If you don't love yourself unconditionally, nothing is going to happen. Take it from me. You may accomplish some things, right? But guess what's going to happen? You're going to be self-destructive. Think about all the people you, you've seen become rich, famous. But because they didn't truly love and value themselves, they destroyed all of the success that they obtained. We see it happen every day. A person who loves themselves wouldn't disrespect themselves. A person who loves themselves wouldn't put toxic in their body every single day. A person who loves themselves wouldn't allow themselves to be distracted by the media every five minutes because they're so focused on their purpose. They're so focused on improving themselves and overcoming the roadblocks in their life. Do you do that? If not, there's a good chance you don't really love yourself. Do you even ask yourself the question, do I love myself? If I do, are the actions that I take are they in alignment with someone who loves themselves? Would you treat someone you love the way you treat you? I think you should think about that. We all need to learn to love ourselves a little more, especially in this world. It's chaos everywhere. We need to learn to love who we are. Flaws, scars, everything, the whole nine, everything, good, the bad, ugly, all of it. Learn to love it. You are going to spend the rest of your life with you. You may not spend the rest of your life with your wife or your husband. That might get a divorce. It sucks to say, but it's the truth. But you're going to spend the rest of your life with you. So if you're going to do that, make sure you at least love yourself. Kendall.